Hi, just popping in for a quick uh, foster care um, update. Um, it's been a few weeks. We have been very, very busy. Um, we still have our uh, six-year-old foster daughter. Um, her social media name is Flor, the Spanish word meaning flower. So I'll call her Flor. Um, we still have Flor. We haven't had any placement calls. Uh, we still have two open beds here, um, including a crib. But uh, I haven't got any calls yet, so. Um, Floor's doing well. Um, we've had a lot of learning with Floor. Uh, a lot of new experiences. Um, the biggest one being um, Floor has encopresis, which don't feel bad if you don't know what that is because I didn't know either. So encopresis is defined as a child over the age of four who does not put their number twos in the potty. So they go somewhere other than the potty um, and this has to happen, happen frequently, not just an accident or something. So um, a child over the age of four, putting their number twos not in the pot on a frequent basis. Um, she's been in care for a year and a half and um, when she came to our home, we noticed this problem right away and uh, even though it was never reported um, until us. So we sent, we had several doctor's appointments and we ended up um, finding out she's lactose intolerant and we also have her on a prescription now um, for Miralax which as a caregiver to a child struggling with this you never think that your child is is constipated because they're going all day long in little amounts and you're cleaning them you know three four five times a day so you don't think of constipation just like I didn't but it turns out what's really going on is there is a blockage in there and so what we're seeing all day is um, the part of the bowel movement trying to move around the blockage so um, since we started her prescription and we've changed her diet um, I've noticed uh, we've taken several steps in the right direction um, as far as um, her f the physical end of things. Um, what remains our biggest struggle right now is just using the good potty habits and getting her to go. Um, she was placed with us in August and since then um, she's only went in the potty twice. So it's a daily struggle and we just want her to be comfortable, we want her to be happy, I want her to succeed. I just I just want to be able to help her. So I don't want her to feel ashamed or anything like that. Um, a lot of people ask me how was she able to go to school when I tell them about this and um, her school's actually been great about it and working with us. We we have a extra backpack uh, with her, like her wipes and her, her underwear pull-ups and it just hangs with the other backpack so it's very discreet nobody would ever suspect it's something like that and so if she does have an accident at school she's able to discreetly go and change herself so and her teacher um, has been teaching for 30 years and she said she in her 30 years she actually had one other child with this particular um, problem so uh, she she was great and had already experienced it so um, we're still working with some behavioral things with Floor, um, but I feel that we're progressing. Her counselor's been a great support, so nothing major to report there, just dealing with um, she needs to learn to use coping skills and, and you know, help calm herself when she feels a strong emotion, and we're working on it. But um, as far as uh, her plan, things are still going in the direction of she used to be reunified in the next few months. Um, her, I have nothing negative to say about her biological parents. Um, her biological parents are great people, and I have so enjoyed um, getting to meet them and know them. Um, it's not approved through the court right now for Floor to call them or see them um, outside of the agency. So, uh, but I did give her my personal information. So her and I talk on a regular basis. I send her pictures of Floor and. Uh, pre-recorded video clips of floor and I look forward to the next court case where hopefully we can get phone calls approved and start getting things moving along for reunification. Um, their story is pretty amazing but it, it isn't mine to share. Um, I know she is okay with me sharing this much is that she has accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior and uh, she said ever since uh, they've 
accepted Christ into their lives, their lives has made lives have made a drastic turnaround. Um, their church family has come in and been a huge support for them. So I, I just want to offer that as encouragement. If you're in that place where uh, you've got this little one and maybe things are not looking great for the biological parents at all and things just look bleak, people can make a turnaround because Floor's parents ha have come from such a, a tough place and they have made a complete turnaround. And uh, my husband and I, we just feel very blessed to have been able to even just the short period that we've known them and just the very short time we've known their daughter, we feel blessed to just have got to be a part of their lives and, and got to witness their story because they have made a complete turnaround. Um, it's very encouraging to us and we look forward to the day that we can see the family reunited together. God is very good. So um, that's all I have for now. I will keep you all updated. So See you later.